What is up? This here LA in a minute, and I'm here in Pasadena at the oldest Mexican restaurant in Los Angeles County, Mijares. The story of Mijares Mexican restaurant begins in Guadalajara 112 years ago, and it continues today, proudly preserving the heritage and culture of Jesusita Mijares. Thank you to Westcom for sponsoring this episode as part of their Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. Let's get into it. Jesusita Martinez immigrated to California from Guadalajara, Mexico in the early 1900s with her husband, Juan Benavides, and infant son, Joe. Initially, they went to work on the railroad in Northern California, but Juan died unexpectedly. So her two sisters, who lived in what was called the Mexican colony of Pasadena, encouraged her to move there, right near Fair Oaks and Pico. And it was a neighborhood where families came in 1911 to escape the Mexican Revolution. Now, by the time Juan had passed away, Jesusita had had two more children, so she had to care for her growing family and to make ends meet, she sold tortillas door to door and eventually became a community business that supplied handmade tortillas to local grocery stores and restaurants. Selling tortillas was providing income for Jesusita, but soon she wanted to supplement her income, so she took in boarders. It became the hottest boarding house. Tables were spread out throughout her home to accommodate the growing number of residents and guests, and slowly, her tortilla business expanded. She'd provide meals with traditional Mexican dishes such as tamales and menudo and salsa made from her stone matete that she had taken with her from Guadalajara. By 1940, the business was flourishing and Jesusita moved out of her home onto this location on Palmetto Drive. It had additional tables, they built some rooms, they added patios, and they accommodated the hundreds of guests that appeared daily at the restaurant. For the next few decades, Mijares became a community institution, not just in Pasadena, but throughout Los Angeles. In 1979, the unthinkable occurred. A fire destroyed the restaurant. Alice Mijares Resendez, daughter of Jesusita, was determined to continue what her mother had started, and she worked hard to rebuild the restaurant, which was completed and reopened in 1984. In 1988, Jesusita Mijares passed away and Alice became the family matriarch. She passed that torch to Mary, who owns the restaurant today and still uses some of Jesusita's original recipes from over 100 years ago. Mijares Mexican Restaurant is an integral LA American dream story and it's the oldest existing Mexican restaurant in Los Angeles. And I gotta thank Westcom Credit Union for sponsoring today's Hispanic Heritage Month episode. Westcom Credit Union has been part of the fabric of Los Angeles for almost 90 years, since 1934 when 13 people pooled their money, $65, and started this not-for-profit financial institution. And because they're not-for-profit, they offer really low fees and low rates on auto loans, personal loans, and mortgages, and high rates on savings and investment accounts. When you open an account at Westcom, you actually become part owner, and that's reflected in their philosophy of people helping people. Westcom Credit Union. Go to westcom.org to find the branch near you. So if you want the oldest Mexican restaurant in Los Angeles, you're going to have to come to Pasadena and you have to come to Mijares because this is a true Los Angeles American dream story. All right, LA, it's been a minute.